Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Andrea Pugliese. I'm a PhD student, student in chemistry at the University of Liverpool. First, first of all, I would like to say thank you to give me the opportunity to present my work today. And today I want to show you how it's possible to probe drug polymer interactions in amorphous solid dispersions using solid states nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. Making active pharmaceutical ingredient excipient amorphous solid dispersion is an established solubilization technology for poorly water soluble API. The overall dispersion aim is to reduce the transformation of amorphous to crystalline materials from the inhibition of nucleation and crystal growth phenomena leading to a fully miscible, fully amorphous, physical stable solid dispersion stabilized by API polymer interaction. To identify and investigate the nature of this interaction is a crucial point in, the, in this field. And as for their identification is still a challenge. Many techniques have been employed. Among these, nuclear magnetic resonance plays an uh, important role. NMR is a really a powerful tool toolkit tool in pharmaceutical science because using NMR we have access to the local structure at molecular level and we can highlight inter and intramolecular interaction. Today I'm I would like to show you how actually we were able to identify spatial proximity and hydrogen bond in paracetamol HPMCES solid, uh, based solid dispersion. H H M HPMCES is a key polymer used to as to make um, amorphous solid dispersion due to its uh, physical chemistry properties like uh, uh, high glass uh, transition temperature, its soluble profile in solvents, and due to the presence of both hydrophobic and hydrophilic moieties in the structure that can help in stabilize amorphous solid dispersion. Before to start with the study of uh, amorphous solid dispersion, we focus on the spectral assignment and on the structural elucidation of the polymer. Because the, the, node, the node of the structure and the dependence of chemical shift change on local chemical environment will allow the identification, the identification of API polymer interaction. Using feedstock and selectively substituted HMPC polymer, we propose here an understanding of the chemical structure of HPMCES and a signal assignment of the carbon NMR spectra. The carbon spectra of the HPMC polymer permits uh, the identification of the signal that can be mainly assignable to the polymer cellulose backbone, uh, backbone sorry. while the carbon spectra of the HPMC polymer substituted by acetyl group and the carbon spectra of the HPMC polymer substituted by with the succinyl group leads us the the uh, the precise and unambiguous identi identification of the uh, position of the chemical shift of the carbonyls group uh, the carb uh, for acetyl and succinyl and as well as the, C the position of the CH2 and CH3 signal. Then, just by comparison, we, can, we were able to carry out the complete carbon assignment, the signal assignment for the polymer. 
One of the HP MCES advantages is the possibility to control the acetyl succinyl ratio during its synthesis. The acetyl succinyl ratio can be turned in order to improve the polymer performance in stabilized amorphous solid dispersion. Uh, HP MCES <coughs> polymer is a commercial available in three different um, AS ratio. Uh, labeled as L grade, M grade, and H grade. The NMR data that we record also captured the molar action of the acetate succinyl group without the need for post treatment. Uh, and the data we get are absolutely complements to the liquid to the to the data that can be um, achieved by using liquid chromatography methods that are the methods that is normally used in this field. Now we can move uh, to analyze and study the carbon spectra of the 20% formulation. Here is reported the, the polymer spectra, polymer carbon spectra that we have already um, analyzed. And here, I have reported the carbon spectra for the paracetamol. By comparison, we can see that in the 20% formulation uh, amorphous uh, dispersion, uh, dispersion spectra, there is uh, some signal that uh, are from the polymer back, uh, backbone and some signal that comes from the paracetamol. As we can see, when we move from the uh, uh, crystalline paracetamol to the amorphous system, we can see some chemical, uh, chemical, uh, chemical shift mm, change and this difference in chemical shift that we can see for both paracetamol and for, and and for the carbonyl group of the succinyl and acetyl moieties clearly indicates the presence of API polymer interaction. By the carbon spectra of the 40% formulation, we were able to identify phenomena of paracetamol recrystallization after only one week. For paracetamol form 1 and form 2, that are the two no polymorph for the um, for the part, for the past one. the presence of uh, um, of the signal um, the presence of both polymer can be um, probed by both the uh, XRD data and both this signal here in the um, in the in the dispersion spectra that can be attributed to both the polymer. The presence of crystalline paracetamol in this dispersion indicates that this dispersion is not fully amorphous and then not stable. Well, uh, the presence of specific um, API polymer interaction uh, highlighted by the uh, changement in the change, uh, sorry, in chemical shift observed for the 20% dispersion carbon, uh, carbon spectrum brings us, uh, brings us to a rigorous study on the, um, on the nature of this interaction. Useful information can be obtained to carry out multidimensional multi and multinuclear correlation NMR experiment. Carbon, uh, carbon uh, nucleus can be used as a spy in two-dimensional two NMR experiment to highlight, in certain condition, spatial correlation. The signal in the dashed rectangle in the 20% in the 2D uh, spectra of the 20% dispersion clearly indicates the presence of API polymer interaction through the space, as expected by the, by the carbon the 20% formulation carbon, specifically involving the paracetamol 
aromatic ring and the glucose, the cellulose, um, cellulose ring in the pollen. In the opposite, the signal in, um, in the 2D, uh, in the two-dimensional 40% um, spectrum indicate the presence of polymer, of, sorry, paracetamol, paracetamol correlation, um, connection, indicated the instability of this dispersion. Recently, um, has been reported that hydrogen, nitrogen, um, 14 multidimensional solid states NMR experiment under specific experimental condition can reveal, reveal the presence of hydrogen bond between molecules. The only signal that can uh, that can we that we can see in the 20% uh, spectrum uh, 20% dispersion spectrum indicate the presence of API polymer hydrogen bond. If we look at the 40% dispersion hydrogen nitrogen uh, spectrum, the, the, spec, the signal that we can see indicates the presence of hydrogen bond, but between API and API once again, we have demonstrated that the 20% formulation is a fully amorphous and miscible and stable formula dispersion in the opposite to the 40% formulation that exhibit clearly pro problem of stability due to the, present, the, the presence of, uh, due to the no presence of API polymer interaction. So, to conclude, carrying out the 1D, one-dimensional carbon spectra, we were able to identify uh, the presence of API polymer interaction, and by the multidimensional and multinuclear NMR approach, we were able to identify the presence of spatial proximity and hydrogen bond in the 20% formulation, leading to a stable system. And we were able to identify only API, API interaction in the 40% formulation, indicating a not very stable dispersion. So I would like to say thank you to uh, to my all my group uh, from the University of Liverpool, especially to say thank you to my supervisor uh, Frederic Blanche. Uh, I would like also to say thank you to our industrial partner and to Dr. Dinu Yuga from the University of of Warwick. Thank you so much for your attention.